Hello everyone, San Bonani, Dumelang, Absheni, Molweni, Tobela, Ah, Lochani. I hope you all good people out there. Welcome to 105 Online Channel. In this channel, we are bringing you celebrity news, entertainment news, and gossip celebrity news. If you are new into this channel, please. Hey, good people, today I'm bringing you the latest news of Bantu Olumisa versus President Cyril Ramaphosa. The UTM leader Bantu Olumisa presented what he considers evidence on the ANC's brazen tactics to Scopa and the public protesters investigation into remarks by President Cyril Ramaphosa in which he admitted to knowing of public funds being used by the party. In December, a recording of an ANC meeting emerged in which Ramaphosa made this admission and said that his biggest concern was the image of the party. After the publication of the recording, the ANC's presidency sought to clarify Ramaphosa's remarks but did not dispute that it was him on the recording. The ANC Member of Parliament, Mervyn Dix, wrote to Scopa to request an investigation which got him suspended from the party's caucus. He also asked the public protectors to investigate Dick's suspension and that didn't prevent Scopa from starting its investigation which commenced last week. The committee met on Tuesday and gave Ramaphosa 10 days to respond after receipt of the committee's letter. The Office of Public Processor Bosisiwe Mkwebane confirmed it was probing an executive ethics complaint against Ramaphosa. Bolomisa wrote to Mkule Koshengwa and Mkwebane on Monday. He wrote, in the same vein, I wish to bring to your attention material information that I had submitted on 23 September 2020 to the Judicial Commission of Inquiry into State Capture, the Zondo Commission, that has bearing on the matter of who the real perpetrators of state capture were and still are, especially in the context of the President's latest remarks. There is the ANC itself. The Zondo Commission had acknowledged receipt of the submission the attached dossier consists of correspondence around the matter of Mashaleng media, in particular as classical example of the ANC's brazen tactics, which might shed light on your investigative processes. The whistleblowers are still willing to testify. In his letter to the commission, Olumisa said the looting from the public resources has become a happy show act to fund the ANCs by whatever means necessary, whether it be by paying its cadres exorbitant salaries or financing their election campaigns by any means necessary. The Mohlaleng Media Matter, which Olomisa refers to, is about a contract to a media company which the former DA mayor of Nelson Mandela Bay, Ethel Trollip, stopped in 2016 after coalition government took over the city in 2016. It's also one of the bones of contention between Olomisa and Trollip after the DA and UDM's working relationship in Nelson Mandela Bay soured. Meanwhile, Dex indicated that he was drafting a complaint to the ANC's ethics committee after he received messages that his political career had taken on a limited growth trajectory. He released a statement over the weekend that read as follows. The organization has a clear policy on fighting fraud and corruption. I was guided by this policy when I raised my concerns before Scopa. It is for these reasons that I am not worried about what has been described by some of an abrupt end to my political career. Ramaphosa's campaign for presidency was steeped in fighting corruption. I find it worrying that the ANC Working Committee is threatening instituting disciplinary action against me for reporting and fighting corruption. Is that not hypocrisy? Cyril Ramaphosa must fulfill his promises. He made a lot of promises when he wanted to be a president. And fighting corruption was number one. As he became a president, he forgot about that. What do you think about this situation, people? Please leave a comment down below. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can get more news on this channel. 105 Online Channel loves you. Bye, good people.